Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's The Basement Beauty here and today I am here with something new. I'm trying out Stitch Fix. First month was free so I figured I had nothing to lose. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it's a $20 a month subscription for a personal designer, like a styling designer to style you based on answering questions about what your styles are, um, your age, and what you're into. I think it's normally five items a month. If you choose to keep any of the items or all of the items, the $20 then goes to that purchase. Um, so again, I got like a $40 credit. I don't know how. My first box was free. Um, I got it a couple days ago. I didn't open it. I wanted you guys to see my true reaction to this box. And um, it was tempting. I did take the tape off already. And I thought, no, I'm going to do a quick video. This is my first box. They don't really know me what I'm into. So I don't have high hopes for this box. Again, it didn't cost me a thing. So if I don't like anything in a box, I get to send it back. And if I do, because they gave me $40, I still have a $20 credit towards this box. So let's jump in let's jump in, in, in. oh but first of all let me show you the box and this box is kind of small i felt like for five items what did i get in here and i'm not like extra small or anything to where the garment should be tiny so the box was kind of small so we'll see what's in there the postage um return priority envelope so whatever you don't want you send it back in here postage paid um and then there's this blank envelope let's take a look at that and it says thanks for letting us style you oh and then this tells you how much everything is so i'm not gonna look at this yet because i don't want to peek i want to see all my items in there and then this just kind of tells you about the program, send it back, blah, blah, blah. Again, just some more stuff with styles on it. So I'll read this because it has your name on it, so it's personalized. It says, hello, Basement Beauty, and welcome to Stitch Fix. My name is Erin, and I'm thrilled to be styling for you today. For your first fix, I've included a mix of brands and styles that match what you filled out in your profile. Please be sure to leave a detailed feedback so I can hone in more on your style preferences, making each box better than the last. So we'll see how she did. So, so then this, it comes wrapped with a little seal on it and all the items are inside. So let's jump in. I'm excited because that wasn't good. Something in a box just fell. I'll have to get that one moment. Okay, I'm back. Since it fell first, it jumped out of the box. Let's see what that is. So some type of jewelry. Oh, it's a necklace, you know. I don't really wear, um, we'll call it costume jewelry, but um, it's cute. Let me show you guys. It's a leaf, which for fall would be nice. I mean, so it's pretty. I do like exactly where this hangs, like it falls like right, like perfect length. Like if I were to pick a necklace, I would pick one that kind of hung like this. So this is really cute um, based on the price. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, so we'll leave it on for now. Let me see. This necklace is filigree pendant necklace, and this is $32. Now, keeping it real with you, I wouldn't pay $32 for this. So my price, if I were to buy this, I wouldn't pay more than $9.99. I'm cheap though, you know what I mean? So $32, uh-uh. So right away, going back, Let's look at the next eye. So I did my eye makeup kind of because I like pinky eyes, but they're kind of a little dark for fall, like a little deepness, you know, smoky. So this is the next piece. It might match my eyes. So, I mean, I like the material. I like that it is sheer. That's why I'm doing this video now and just a little cami because I wanted to just be able to try um, things on easily so it kind of falls in the back a little short in the front um you know it's cute 
it has like the sleeve here with the button so it's like three quarter length sleeve um very thin but again this is by the brand lush i do like this style um and the color is not terrible let's see how much this costs this shirt and this is in a size large so this blouse is 44 dollars again i'm i shop on sale all the time maybe um so we'll try it on because if it look cute enough now it'll be worth it so we'll try that on I don't know what this design um okay so we have another shirt um you know it's busy but i don't mind pattern i do pattern what threw me was the zipper you guys can see the zipper right here and um it had like some little balls like the detail i do like the back um it's kind of like a soft cotton like so i mean the material is nice it's kind of long and i do have a long torso so i'll try it on it might look cute on i'm all about how does it look when i put it on i wouldn't like stop and pick this off a hanger if i was in the store but it might look cute so we'll see Ooh, something soft let's see another shirt oh this is um oh i didn't tell y'all sorry i'm going out of line so this is by fortune and ivy that's the brand and this shirt is a large and it's 40 dollars to get out of my price range for what i'm willing to pay for a shirt um and then this is like a thin soft cotton sweatshirt with this turtleneck i don't know i like the material of it um it's plain and cute though and it has a little drawstring so we'll see and this is by pink clover so this is a polar cowl neck brush dark gray in a large and it's 44 dollars these shirts are up there anyway let's see the last item and there's some jeans by silver jeans company and these are the jeans so they look like boot cut yep these are curved fit mid rise slim boot and they are in a 31 which is a 12 um so that is my size i do like the color i like the slight distressed pocket so i like the details of the jeans i like how they feel they're like they feel kind of soft like not that stiff jean and i love a good fitting pair of jeans so we're gonna try these on and see what i think and these are 79 dollars so the total of all the items it's 239 dollars but the way this works since i already had the 40 dollars that they gave me if i let's say i wanted everything in this box right away you get a 25 percent discount so if you ever get this box and you like everything in it off the 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 total price you get 25 percent off so my price if i kept everything would be 179 25 and then they would take the $40 off. So I would pay $139.25 for everything. So let's say, for me, because I'm cheap and I always think about numbers, if I really love these jeans and wanted to buy them, I'm not about to spend $79 just to get these jeans. So, but if I like one other item, I would just go ahead and keep the entire box because I'm going to pay $139, which is going to be worth it to keep everything versus just a few things and not getting that 25% discount. So that's kind of how I would do a cost analysis in my mind to see how it worked out best for me. So anyway, sit tight and I'm about to try on the jeans and that little sweater shirt and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and um, I was trying to think of a good way to be able to tape this. So, I have the jeans on, and um, they are cute. They are a cute fit. I love the length of them. Very comfortable. I like the way they fit the length. I like how they look on my butt. I like where they sit. So, I would definitely want to keep these. Like, I would wear these. These are cute. This is the shirt. And this is, I don't know, I don't really like the fit of it. The arm length is good, but I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the, the style. Like, this is just like a 
not for forty dollars like if this was I don't know, 10 bucks, maybe even 15. I could justify getting it because it's very comfortable, nice to throw on on a nice fall day. But as far as just wearing this for $40, this is not something that I am going to choose to keep. And then I even thought with this part, like, could I pull it up? It's just not my thing. So this is definitely a no-go. It's big and I just don't like how much how loose it is. So jeans so far are go. Shirt is that oh no. So um stay put and I'm gonna try on the other stuff. Okay guys, I'm back with the other shirt and let's just like give it two thumbs down um right now. But this is it. Um this is the one with the zipper and these roll up sleeves the back um, it kind of comes right below the waist like so it covers your zipper area like if you have pants with zippers I'm still wearing the jeans but it just doesn't do anything for me it was more fitting um, you know and maybe it was my fault I should have gotten a medium that might have fit better but I just think that this is very unflattering and for 44 dollars no thank you so moving on okay here it goes last shirt um and again okay so here he is and again it's i don't even think in a smaller size i would like this i mean it it falls it's flowy you know like when you have your your belly and you kind of want to camouflage it i think this would be like a good camouflage shirt um it kind of falls down in the back so for my curvy girls you know that could be good to kind of cover you up for work but um yeah again it just doesn't do anything for me it's just kind of it just hangs you know it, it just i don't know i don't like the fit i'm not crazy about the neckline the arms like nothing so unfortunately I didn't like enough of the items in this box to keep any of them except those jeans and the fact that I can get those jeans for $40 I am going to do it but I mean they are cute I just worry about how long I'll be able to wear them um, because they're kind of loose and I don't like my clothes tight but I like them form fitting. These just don't fit um, the way that I would like them to fit. So this was not a great box for me. Let me bring you guys closer. Don't mind all the stuff around me because I am the basement beauty and this is my basement. So anyways, thank God the box was free. I'm going to keep these jeans on a little longer just to see what I think. I want to make sure they don't sag in a crotch. I'm going to try them on with a belt and see if that makes them fit a little bit better. But right now, the only thing I'm keeping from this box are those jeans. And um, because it is my first box and I kind of do like the idea of getting a bunch of new styles that maybe I wouldn't normally pick up for myself, I may let the box go for another month or two, maybe three, and kind of let them get used to my style and see what kind of stuff they send my way if i notice that it's good quality clothing and the prices are outrageous then i might keep it and that's always a good way to keep adding new pieces that i wouldn't normally go out and buy for myself so again it's stitch fix i will put a link down in the description if you want to check it out if you want to sign up you might get twenty dollars off your first box so your box can be free I will link that below and um, if you guys already if any of you already get stitch fix they do have it for kids and you like love it or you hated it drop me a comment below I'd love to see some pictures or hear updates on how your boxes went um, because unfortunately these were nice pieces they just weren't flattering pieces for me and it was a bunch of shirts like I would have liked to have a dress a skirt a shirt jeans um i could do without the jewelry so i'm definitely gonna go on my profile and change that because i'm not a huge jewelry wearer i don't even wear earrings like so that just wasted a choice for me this necklace that i'm not gonna pay 32 dollars for so i hope you like my video if you did 
give me a thumbs up subscribe i'll be back randomly with some other videos um whenever i feel moved to so thank you guys for watching and see you next time